I brought some Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers memorabilia. He and I matriculated at Rollins College in Winter Park together. We started in 1947 and we graduated in 1951. So I knew him quite well. I was a music major and an English major and he was a composition major. So we spent a lot of time in the music rooms. And you performed with Mr. Rogers as well? Yes. He asked me if I would sing at his senior recital. Didn't oh, he? he was so good. We had such fun. So the original manuscripts here that you have from yes. the senior recital yes. are also signed by Mr. Rogers yes. in the top right corner right here. Right. This one, the he who hath glory lost, he did not sign it. So I wrote to his wife mm -hmm. and said, could you possibly look at it and tell me whether or not it's Fred's? Right. Which of course I knew, but then you know, you, you have to have yeah. somebody authenticate it. Yeah. Tell me one of your favorite memories of Mr. Rogers from the school times. I love the story that was told. He was so colorblind that he had all his socks and that kind of stuff arranged in the dresser drawers the way he could keep up with it. Mm -hmm. And the socks were all in colors going from white to black. And his friends thought that would be a wonderful joke to play and they took all his socks out of the drawer and mixed them all up and put them back. And when he got in there, he looked and he thought, that's not the way I put them. So he picked them all out and threw them in the garbage and went to a store and bought all black socks. And from then on till the day he died, he never wore anything but black socks. That's a great story. And he really was as, as warm and nurturing as we all oh, found yes, him to be on television. absolutely. He was the sweetest man and so kind and so gentle. And yeah. He really was a delightful person. He got into television because he wanted to improve the television that was made Absolutely. for children. And when he first started Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, they didn't have enough money for him to have a cast. He did all those impersonations himself. Mm -hmm. All the characters. He did them all. And what you brought today also was the newspaper article with the graduates. Yes, and, and he's down. And then here's Mr. Rogers right here. Yes. Have you ever had these items appraised before? Well, the main thing today is we wanted to have you share those stories of Mr. Rogers. That's what I was looking forward to so much. On the letter written by Mr. Rogers, you know, insurance value, about $150 on that. On the original manuscripts for the two, I put a value of $300 to $500 for insurance purposes. Fine, that's yeah. great.